install your Reco 47 offset slider. This is how you want to get it started. You want to invert your two vertical studs. And also on the top stud, you want to add a, a wood backer. And we're also going to chalk on the ground from the edge of the sheetrock to the edge of the sheetrock. And this is how you start it. Now that you have everything set up, make sure everything's low. We're going to get the measurement for your F channel or your RN389. The way we get this measurement is we measure from the end of this wall to the end of this wall. What we like to do also, we like to pre drill holes, two on the top, two on the bottom, and we like to stagger it in the middle every eight to ten inches. And depending on which side you want your door on, you want it on the inside or you want the outside, is where you're going to line up the back side of your, your F channel. What we're going to do, we're going to have the door on this side, so we're going to put this plug to the back. You're going to flush it out with the back side, or you can flush it out with this channel. And then you put your screws in. Now that you got all your screws put in, set, you're going to find your header for your uh, RN303. What we're going to do here is you're going to put it all the way against the wall. And then we're going to set a screw. Once you put this in, you set your screw. You're going to mark 5 8 from the edge of your, your header. Mark it, and then you're going to get your measurement for your next window. Your window piece is going to be your RN 352. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put it in all the way to the edge. And then you set a screw. Now we've got both headers set up, level and screwed off. Now we're going to get your measurement for your case opening, which is your RN303. To get this measurement, you want to measure from the bottom of your header to the top of your floor. Once you get it cut, you're going to go in at 45 degree angle, get it all the way up, tap it in. You want to get your laser level off as your clips, and then we're going to mark our 38 on the bottom. Now that we got everything screwed off and leveled from our mark that we made, we're going to add three quarters to that mark from here to here. And from this mark to the edge of the wall is what we're going to use our steel kit. This is also known as our RR420. What we like to do is pre drill two holes on top, two holes on bottom, and then stagger it every eight to ten inches apart. What we get here, we're going to put it all the way against the edge of the wall. And using our chalk on that we made, we're going to set it right here flush. That way we know we're straight. Once we get it straight, we're going to add our tap cones and screw it down. Now that we've got our steel can set down and screwed, we're going to get our vertical. This is our RN303. To get this measure, we're going to measure from the top of the header to the bottom of the floor. And if you need help on how to set our clips, please see our video. We're going to come down to the bottom. We're going to set the bottom in first. Come to the top. Move in. Set our, set our clip. We're going to set a screw in here so we know where, so it doesn't move. And that were level and square and if you want to set a screw at the bottom just so it stays in place you can but it will be removed for a clip that we put in the future. Now we're going to get our vertical which is our M352. How we get this measurement is we're going to measure from the bottom of the header to the top of the seal can. Once we get that cut, I come in, go in at a 45 degree angle, push it up. Add your clips, get your laser, and label, and screw it off every 8 to 10 inches. Now we're going to get our vertical insert, which is our RN354. To get this measurement, we're going to measure from the bottom of the header 
Top of the steel pan. Once you get it cut, we're going to come in. We're going to put it, set it in the bar. glass of face. If you want it inside the office, outside the office, is which way you're going to turn it. We're going to have it on the outside right now, so we're going to set it in like this. To get this measure, you're going to measure from this vertical to the edge of this vertical. Once you get it cut, you're going to come in at a 45 degree angle. Set it in. Push it down. Make sure everything's tight. After this, you want to get your RN 351. This flat is always going to be on the outside of this, and you're going to stick it in at a 45 degree angle as well. Come in, you get you a rubber mallet to set it in. You just want to tap the corner all the way down. Then you want to set your screws and then add your clips. And if you need help with the clips, please see our video. Right, this is a recap of what we've already done. We set in all our clips. Everything screwed off, leveled. Our next step is going to be to get our receiver, which is our RN367. And to get this measurement, you want to measure from the bottom of your F channel to the top of the finished board. And this does not come pre-notched. To get this knot, you want to set it to the side after you get cut. Mark it with a pencil, notch it, and then you're ready to put it in. If you need help on how to notch, please see our video on how to notch. Now that we have your receiver cut and you have it notched, what you need to put it in is a dead blow or a rubber mallet and a block of wood. Once you get it in, you're going to set it in there. Dead blow. Just tap it in, making sure there's no gaps all the way down. Then you'll set your screws on the back side, about a foot apart, all the way down. Then you'll get your, your snap-in piece, which is your RN368. Go in at an angle. You're going to get your dead blow again. And you just tap it in. Going all the way down. This is what your receiver is going to look like snapped in. Now do take in mind, if there's a wall behind the receiver, you won't be able to put your screws in, so what you're going to do is you'll snap these two pieces together and then you snap them in. Now we're going to look for your track, which is your RN456. The way to get this measurement, you got to measure from your receiver to the end of your vertical. And these do not come free knots, so we will have to notch it. The way to get your knots, you're going to set it in there after you put it. You'll mark it, then you'll mark this side, and then if you need help notching or need to know how to notch, please see our other video. After you got your track cut and you have it notched, the next step is to put in your rollers. And before we like to do that, we want to pre-drill holes all through your track right here on these three die lines. Go on the back. Just to make it easier for when we put it, in, we screw it into our F channel. In your accessory pack comes stops, two stops, and two rollers. We're gonna set those in there before we put it up. It doesn't matter where you put it. What we like to do is we put two wheels on this side. We like to put the two wheels on the opposite side the next time. Stop. In there. Doesn't matter where it goes, you will adjust it when the door comes. You just get you a 7 on 1 and tighten everything down. Now 
Now you're ready to install your track. Now that you got your rollers on, the way you put on your track is you need a dead blow or a rubber mallet and a block of wood. Once you get it on there, you put it set in. You're going to tap it all the way, making sure there's no gap. After you get it in there, you snap it in. You're going to set your screws in the middle that we pre built already. Make it seem right, and then you repeat the process all the way down. Once you finish screwing in your track, our next step is going to be to add our trim. To get these trim measurements, you're going to measure from the bottom of your track to your top of your floor for both verticals. Now both these verticals are different. This vertical is going to be your felt trim or your RN435. And then this vertical trim is going to be your regular trim. It's going to be your RN425. Now that we have our trim snapped in, we're going to get our trim for our base. If you take in mind, you will have to notch the bottom of this trim because of the clothes that we put. If you need help notching, knowing how to notch them, please see our other video. To get this measurement for our RN435, you want to measure from the edge of your trim to the edge of your trim. Once you get it cut, you need to come in using a block of wood and a rubber mallet or a dead blow. You just want to tap it in. Once you have that set, you're going to come in your accessory pack, you're going to come with your floor guide and two screws, two flatheads. What you want to do is you want to come here, set it in the middle, screw into the felt trim, and depending on if you have a finished floor or not, you can set it on the ground, or if you don't have finished floors, you can raise it up just a little bit and you screw it in. Once you snap your trim in and put your floor guide in, this is what it's supposed to look like on the door side of this. Now we're on the back side. We're going to do the same thing we did to the front. We added our clips. We screwed everything on, making sure everything was right. We went ahead and added our vertical trim because the only difference we're going to have here is our header trim. Our header trim is going to be our RN449. The way you get this measurement, you measure from the end of your trim to the inside of your trim. Once you get that cut, you come up here, you set it in, grab your pencil, mark it for your foot, and then you're ready to snap it. This is what the back side is supposed to look like once you finish snapping in all your trim.